Good evening. Oh, good evening. Welcome to Heart Returning in the Stable Studio. <sighs> Big sigh. I've got some reprobates in the background here. I'll just bring them in quickly. Because the first thing I'm going to show you is a result of their abuse. <laughs> <laughs> so the, Not my the abuse. abuse, the abuse basically. Uh, uh, Pete, get back in that camera. I was yeah, you it up. You told me to clean the workshop or so, I couldn't be on your life. He's been busy cleaning up there, so he's uh, just finished with his vacuum cleaner. Uh, so Pete from Twisted Trees is in. Terry from TJ Turney. Cheers. Mark, a gentleman with Turner. I was no gentleman and, uh, that day. Yeah, you were not. Can I stop you there, Brian? <laughs> Brian, can I stop you there? Uh, no, no, Joe's no, been, no, no, Joe's, no, wait, Joe's no, been no, in a long no, time. No. Joe. Is here, and we hope she's going to stay. She's been in a long time, <laughs> but, but she may not. You never know. Good evening, everybody. We well, shall see. Well, so, welcome along, everyone. everybody. Thanks very much Hello, for coming in. Cheers. So, uh, those of you who uh, follow me a little bit, or come in here because you've nothing better to do, <laughs> probably most games, um, will know that last Thursday <laughs> I stupidly made the mistake of saying to my earworms, "There we go." No, it, was uh, it was Monday. So it was Monday. You're absolutely right. It was Monday. Turning for Brian on Monday. And, uh, turning for Terry on Monday <laughs> caused me so much grief. Uh, but anyway, I said I would show you the, the finished item. But you Before did ahead, learn Mark. a very valuable life lesson. <laughs> yeah. yeah, never trust Mark or Pete. <laughs> so just, just so you know that I did finish said pot. Hold, hold that picture up again, Mark. But the popper, I said, do the lid like, keep, keep do this, the lid like this, this. Keep this vision in your head, and then look at this. Full screen. Perfect. <laughs> full screen. I'm going to full screen. Beautiful. So, that, that's what resulted out of what Mark sent me. I like the um, finial. <laughs> there's a little finial on the top. It, it actually, uh, the lid actually fits. But it's not too tight. Super glued. It's not super glued. And in the bottom, uh, Mr. Ben Jarman decided that we, it's, that we had the pointless tenon, so we might as well have a pointless finial. So we did. We stuck a finial in the inside as well. Oh, that's right. superb. <laughs> so when Ben comes in, you've got to show it, man. Yeah, we will. So if you just put it on and give it a little twist, it kind of tightens up. So it's. Means it's oval. Perfect. It means it's a little bit oval because it's a, it was a it wasn't a dry piece of wood. So there we go. Let me just put you back to that for a second. I'll get rid of that and get rid of that, and we'll crack on with what we're doing tonight. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> well done, Brian. Yeah, Let's excellent. Start. Well done. I do apologize. Well, I, I do apologize. I don't apologize at all. I don't regret don't. it. Don't regret yeah. it one little bit. I'll bring you to stand in again, Brian. Right? Right. Yeah. We gave him Mark, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll get him to stand yeah. in again. It was all good advice, yeah. <laughs> don't say to your earworms 10 minutes before you go live. I don't want to know what to do. What should I do? Of course, we're going to lead you down the garden path. I'll get rid of this That's table off the lathe as well. <laughs> so, tonight, guys, to be nice and simple, and so as I can't get that much abuse from the said earworms. I've lost a piece of wood. I can always give <laughs> oh, you abuse, bro. Oh, here it is. I've got edge, this. It was him. He can always give you abuse. <laughs> you don't always give me abuse, but mostly. We so, could, if you want to. I'm going to turn this piece of ash. So it's just a little piece of wood. I've got it mounted on a faceplate ring. I'm going to turn a little simple shaped bow. Uh, not not like a dog bow. Some kind of something with a little bit of an angle on it, possibly. We'll see how that goes. But I'll get this mounted on the lathe. And I think Joe's going to read the chat, is she? Oh, blimey, she stays long enough. Well, that's if I stay on long enough, but you'll know that if I've gone, I stop talking, don't I? So, you do, actually, yeah. Good evening. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, the Rob from uh, Copper Owl said, sorry he's late, he doesn't have any cake, though. Rob, oh. Go uh, back to the sorry. beginning and have a look at the um, the final piece from last Monday's debacle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
And it, right, it's only after our past that you're late. I don't want to interrupt any more apart Joe. from to say, I hope you managed to stay online long enough to get through the chat. So do I. So we've got <laughs> Dave O.T., Trevor P. Hobby Turner, Andy H's for turning. We've got Terry Bartlett, James Crawford, Steve Hale, Michelle Higgins, Clint at Wood Dancers, Nigel Foster, Mikey Woolminster, <coughs> Neil M, the Klondike Craftsman, <laughs> Paul Oyton, the Greasby Turner, myself, Jennifer Craft and Creations, Keith Jarvis, Roger Mills, Alex of Wild and Things. That's Wid and Things. Scottish, Wid. As, as in Scotland, when things. you say Wid, it means Wood. Okay. Wid and Things. Barry Chitty, Jason Leveron, William Ross Creates. RPM Woodworks. In the Wood Turner. Michelle Loosby, Door 60, Billy Woodworks, Copper Owl Woodturning, get in there, get in there, David J. Heath, the Guildford Carpenter, Andy. Hot firewood green. And he's my nephew. Yeah, I know, I can never get it. Jean L. H. David Vaughan. And that's it at the moment. So good evening, everybody. Welcome <clears throat> this evening. Welcome, everyone. And I'm using my three years for gauge. I'm using my three years for gauge. <coughs> Just to get that to round quickly. Jason uh, Lettering asked set, you a question. Are you going to colour it? Yes, indeed I am, sir. Thank you. Uh, if I just go... Are you, I thought you were just on screen now. There we go. Some colours that will be used there. Excellent. There may well be some burning as well, if Baz appears. It could be burning... I like burning ash. You get a nice texture on it from it. Yeah, nice smell as well. David Eisenhower's in the chat. Good evening, David. Red foot resin and wood creation. So I'd like a nice steep sided bowl so as I can put the colour on. And uh, you'll be able to see it. Or Lapsley's just joined us. Quick question for Michelle. Is it okay if Mark spends that money that Brian asked him to buy the stuff with? I'm sure it will be, Pete. Just do it anyway, Mark. Okay. It's just for hundred pound, Brian. Don't forget, people, oh, could you prefix any questions with a couple of question marks or QQQ maybe in capital so we can see it. Or it might slip by. Welcome, Douglas has joined us. Good evening, Michael. <coughs> so I'm going to make quite a small foot now, so I'm going to use my uh, record per mini chuck, the two and a half inch mini chuck, but it needs a 40 mil mortise, 42 mil, 40, did I say 44 mil? I think 44 mil mortise. Yeah. Dave Oti's got a question. Yes, Dave. He says, has Brian broken the cover off the digital gauge on the tailstock already? Yes. Yeah, same as I did, same as Terry did, same as most people do. That is the only downside of this entire lathe, is the cover on that digital gauge is rubbish. So we'll lose yeah. the tailstock now. I don't like the tailstock locking handle position. No, that is, that could be, that could be a lot. It could be on the side, it could be better. Yeah, it could yeah. be better. Yeah. Better on the side I, of I quite like it on the bike. It's quite easy to, if you have gone away from me at the bike, like mine, 
It makes life easier for pulling it up and down the bed. It could be slightly shorter by about a quarter of an inch because it hits the wheel if it's upright. Well, it's supposed to lock before it gets to upright. Yeah, but, you know, if you've got it there and you're moving it back out of the way. So if I can I get a better camera on that. Can, of course can, just drop that down there. So there's the, there's the handle. So when it's up there, it's unlocked. It's the way, was it? Another eighth of an inch slide. shorter or quarter no, shorter. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It doesn't need to go all the way over. No, you leave it like that now, and then turn, then, then do the wheel forward because you forget that and you put the wheel forward and jams. Yeah. Well, you shouldn't be turning the wheel, you shouldn't be turning the wheel until it's locked in place anyway. Yeah, but you forget as well, it's probably oh, it's your own fault. Forgets. That's why you've got a chuck pee in your hand. Joe, we'll fix the camera. Good day. So <laughs> <laughs> the camera fixed. Cornish Mead, 1982 is in. Good evening, Katie. So I'm just going to mark hey, the little Morris here. Because that's about the size the foot's going to be, just a couple of mil bigger than the Morris. Jason Leveron wants to know if the cover is under warranty. Mm -hmm. I suppose it is, Jason. He is one to one. He hasn't broken it. He's just taken it off. It like off. The rest of us all did. Just taking it off because it's a pain in the, the bazookas. So I use a little ball gauge here, a little spindle gauge. Ah, but ball gauge, sorry. But spindle gauge. Duh. Just to get this motor set. Joe's still there? I am. I'm oh, just checking. Thank you. She was there, but she was dozing off a little bit. Okay. Steady. <laughs> One more notch repeat. <laughs> it's another step up the ladder, Mr. Pete. <sighs> yeah, but Terry was more wrong than the earlier on. He's now 11. It's Mark I just used my skew to set the... Uh, Set the dovetail and just tidy up the bottom a little bit. It should be fine. Just have a quick look at that. Yep, that'll be good. And what I'll do is because I'm going to put my maker's mark in there, I'm just going to leave a, two little rings just so it looks like somebody's taking a bit of time over it. A lot of presentation. So now, let's just finish the shape on the outside. So what really wants a straight line from about a uh, pencil. Right, Mark, where's my pencil? What have you done with my pencil? Over there on your left. Down your ear, ear. <sighs> it's behind my ear now, is it? Okay. I know my ears are big, but I don't think it's hiding that pencil. Oh, the pencil cares for those. Lawrence <laughs> McAdee <laughs> is in. You're funny. Hello, Lawrence. Hello, Lawrence. Uh, I can't find a pencil. I've got four pencils in this workshop. I can't find any. No, you haven't. It's okay. Well, I found one. Four. I uh, well, I can't. I, I, I tell. I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Four boxes. Four boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Tell a lie. No, they're not sharp. They, they ones make. are not sharpened. What you should make, Brian, is ones. a pencil pot. You should make a pencil pot. Keep your pencils. I've got two up. pencil pots. There's no pencil in it. <laughs> that's <laughs> not what pencil pots are for, surely. I so have if I just make mark that line workshop. there, that's gonna that's gonna be the base. That's my no cut line. So I'm not gonna cut anywhere near that. Pick up said tool again. And let's try and make a nice straight cut across from here. I think it's universal in the yeah. chat. Four pencils yeah. is not enough for any workshop. Yeah, everybody says that. Uh, Casey's asking, what can you get Chris to make for the wedding? Your wedding, Katie. Yeah, make her for the wedding. Okay, uh, that's what I think then. Who's getting married? Who's getting married? Katie and Chris. Katie and Chris getting married. Oh, of course you are. Can you make for her? Set of stocks. <laughs> Set of stocks. <laughs> and he could turn a bucket to put all the eggs in. 
when he small, them. Small stool, so that Katie can sit on it to rub Chris's feet in the evening. Yeah. That's it. Trim his nails and things. <laughs> I'm really, I'm living on thin ice saying that. You're very far from me. She could drive up here and beer before he finishes this bowl. She might yeah. have a, have a, she might have, she <laughs> might have a list as well, Mark. <laughs> Michelle Higgins says a bride and groom goblets. How about that? Yeah, bride and groom goblets always go well for weddings. But I'll tell you what I did for one wedding where um, they lived on a canal boat, so I didn't have a lot of space. So I made a champagne fruit style um, oh. toasting goblet. That was a mistake. But I so made I a lid to go on it way. as well. So they could put little trinkets from the wedding into it and put the lid mm. on it and stick it in the back of the, the shelf in the canal boat. So a lid yeah. gob- goblet is quite a nice thing for a wedding. Oh. Good idea. So we're on a slight design change there then, Brian. Just a, just a tiny little design change there um, that I've had to make because I had a little run back. Mike, use in. Good evening, Mike. Hopefully fix it now. I think I've already said that. Hey, I thought you were gone, man. Apparently, Mike, you've got some interesting pictures on Instagram. I, I'm not on Instagram personally, so I haven't seen them, but... Yes, they are very good. earlier. There we go. Have a look at that. See, there any horrendously bad too much one. There is a lot, but just up here. Ooh, ouch. Oh, dear. Yeah, dig in. I think I'll have to fix that. Yep. Just take another little shaving off the side there, and that should be fine. Let's get rid of that. Hasn't he made that cake stand? Look a little bit. Well, he's waiting for Katie to make the cake so he gets the size right. Yeah. He was going to make her a cake stand months ago. I remember her saying. Have a look at that. That'd be a whole lot better. Look, stand up. Michelle said, "Katie, it doesn't get any better." (laughs) Which I'm sure is wrong because I'm sure Michelle said, "Brian, can you make me yet another bowl, please?" That's what Mm. she said this evening. Make make me a bowl, please. Make me a bowl. I thought, yeah. Yes, dear. She did. I. Not. Strike the run. You know, the best wedding gift for um, anybody daft enough to marry a wood turner is a good vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> and knowledge of how to use it. Ooh. And no- knowledge of how to use it. What are you lot like? Luckily, yeah. he doesn't watch these things, so I'm fine. I have no idea what they're like. I- I'm staying out of that conversation now completely. <laughs> I have it. We're back in diff fixing. We're back in. Who's that? Hiya. Our Bacon. Good evening. Hmm. Is that a new name, though? No, he's been a oh, before. He's, been, he's, just, he's a regular. Welcome, everybody, by the way. I was kind of engaged there when uh, Joe was reading the chat out, so I didn't get to say hello to everybody. So. Hello, everybody. I'm just quickly going up through your grits here. I'm not going to mess about too much. I don't like sanding. Well, 
I quite like sanding, but I don't like sanding on, on, on lives because it's a bit boring. So just light pressure on this uh, Simon Hope tool. And I remember last night, uh, Mike was talking about the, the old and the infirm <coughs> being a bit arthritic, using the thin handle. Yep, or a thick just, handle. Just, just so as Mike knows, I, I've got a thick handle one as well, but I don't quite need it yet. <laughs> it won't be long, though, will it? won't be too long. Unlike Mike. <laughs> Now, now. Hey. I'm watching you. Evening, William. That was 240. And now I'm going to go to 400. Oh, no, I'm not, because I'm getting 400 people there. Oh, oh dear. There's a tragedy. Go to 320, then. Yeah, 320 will do. Turn us in. I'm going to put it anyway. Zed. Yep. Hi, Zed. Zed. Hi, Zed. <laughs> Hi, Zed. How are you feeling, buddy? Zed had the... Had a bit of a problem there for a couple of weeks. He was laid poorly. So, quick bit of hoovering, guys. Cutting off the extractor. We're turning by Barry's just joined. Barry. Just a, just a quick bit of hoovering on the bed. Make oh, sure right. there's no errant dust. Because we're going to do some burning. Bernie, Bernie. Is, is, is Baz in? They probably will be used to heard that now across the ether. The flaming torch. Bailey Riverworks got a question. One of my best bowls lately has small bugs crawling out of little pinholes in the wood. Is there a way to get the living biology out microwave of the bowl? 15 yeah, seconds in the microwave, that'll do the job. Yeah, Cook 15 the little seconds blighters. in the microwave. Probably woodworms. It guaranteed wood to be woodworms, really. Mm. Almost guaranteed. So, just oh, give so it about 15 uh, seconds in the microwave. In the freezer overnight, that'll also work. Mm. That, that, that'll work a treat as well, yeah. Yeah, either freeze them or burn them. The yeah, only thing is, you, you can get 15 seconds in the microwave without the wife knowing. Overnight in the freezer, you're probably going to get caught. Mm. Yeah, she'll see that. Mike Hughes asked a question. He says, Is there any difference between sanding discs and cut out squares? <laughs> no. Nope. One's round, cheaper. one's square. Cheaper. One's cheaper. One's round, one's square, and uh, the square <laughs> ones are actually cheaper. Yeah. You just buy it in big strips. Hi, Baz. In, Hi, Baz. Baz is in. Bernie, Bernie. Oh, I can't Bernie. believe that. Baz has appeared. Yeah. I let the blow touch. Baz appeared. How did that happen? He, he said he knew you could smell Bernie Bernie. So I'm trying not to burn the base here. I'm not making a very good job, but... Actually, that looks quite nice. There's, there's, there's a real there nice just thick turn band, yeah. yeah. Polish that and turn it around. <laughs> Polish it and turn it around. No, it's not getting that. It's, <laughs> get, it's getting more than that. So I'm going to give that a quick sand with 320 again just to take the, the worst of it off. Bring that back, switch that back on. Try and make the bottom natural again, rather than the big scorch mark over the rim. And roll that over, there we go. See, when I, burn that, I, like, I like to use a bit of um, very fine paper uh -huh. with my fingers, because it rounds off the hard bits, and you get All a right. lovely texture between the hard and soft from the burn. All right, okay. Jason Leveran suggests yeah. another way to get rid of the bugs. Is, uh, you could also put it in a sealable box with cotton balls soaked in fingernail polish remover. Hmm, what sort of fingernail Poison polish a little you, Jason? Yeah, just stick it in the microwave. It's quick. Yeah. Literally just 15 seconds in the microwave. The job's done. So I'm just going to do this along the grain a bit, just to try and lighten some of these bits up. Some of them are a bit dark. So this is the same sandpaper as we were using, 320. like them dark. Good contrast. I don't like it too dark. It should have a nice effect on the colours as well. With a better look. 
That looks brilliant. So, give that a lot of clean with a little bit of there. Let's get across. Hello, Steve. Hi, oh, Steve. 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 Evening, Steve. Evening, Steve. Oh, I have to show you these guys. I have to show you these that Steve from SK Craft sent me. I asked him for some uh, some purple pen blanks because I have a commission. And he sent me these. Look oh, at the purple on them. Very nice. Look how purple, purple they are. That's amazing colour, Steve. Thank you very much, mate. Yorkshire gets in. Evening, Yorkshire get. Colour, you say? Suggestion, so, if you take the stick of dynamite to the bowl, Light the fuse, it will go off and kill the bugs. <laughs> Yorkshire gets says, colour you say, you're sacked. Cut, no, inside is natural. Glenn, just you uh, just you calm yourself there. Don't be getting too excited. I don't know whether I'm going to last that long for singing there. Well, you will, I. For singing. For singing, for last. singing. For singing. No. I'll be fine. You won't last that long. You always so like, like Eminem. So popping in out three times before. Sorry, I'll bring you back in for a singing, Joe. My name's not yeah. Terry. I won't lock Thank you out. Well, Terry got to kick out by the press just at the right time. <laughs> I'm going right, to get kicked so, out perfect yeah. timing. Next thing I want to do, and you might think this is a bit strange, but I'm going to stick some of that on it. He's away mad, this is. He's away mad, this is. Some of what on it? I'm sure she's in belts and wax. Okay, well, we can't see it. You know, oh, it's wrong. There, now we can. There you go. Sorry, guys. Uh, a little bit it. of I'm sure she's in belts and wax. Yep, blue. I'd go back to yeah. the end camera now. Okay, you're going to put blue embellishing wax on before you colour it. Yep. Okay. I'm going to stand the back again. Okay. The other paint won't the uh, stain won't stick to the wax, don't you? You see. I see no idea. You see. Okay. Then he's gonna turn it back a bit, then he's gonna burn it again and okay. trust in me. <laughs> now Steve has said sand in seal first. Sand in seal it first. Yeah. Who said that? first. Steve SK Crafts, but then he what does he know about colouring? Come on. Yeah, but you know, I mean Brian's gonna colour this, so we can't do sand in seal first. Well, the colour will still go in a bit, wouldn't it, if you only do one coat of sanity Thin Yeah, coat. but sanity sealer and wax together, probably not. It's probably risking it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, fear not, guys, fear not. But I think, you know, I've got an idea where this is going. Yeah. I I just I'm glad you have. Right. Don't you listen to this lot. <laughs> I'm not listening at all. If you want any advice, Brian, just ask the, ask the earworms, because, you know, no, they did a good I, I job think... on Monday. I think I'll ask the chat first. They did a good <laughs> job on Monday. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Brian's going to be asking me and beat anything for him. I don't think he is. Not, not, not today. It's no good asking the chat. Robbo and Ruby were just as bad as me and Mark. <laughs> no, no. Robbo and Ruby were pretty good, actually, I have to say, in comparison to you two. I thought um, Ben was very helpful. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Jam. Ben always helpful. He's always helpful. Yeah. yeah. He's not in at the moment. I don't know. He's with, probably... with his wonderful advice about the finial. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Terry Bart has got it. Look, Brian has had lessons from the international colorist Mike Walt. <laughs> Could be the case. I just need to grab some uh, paper towels. I forgot to get these ready in advance. Dave Oti said, like, not you like haven't me. going, Pete? Would that be the bin? <gasps> no. No one Trevor P said. I think be... What did Trevor P <laughs> say? Is Mark, the gentleman gesticular, gesticulating again? The gentleman gesticulator. I'm going to make up a logo for that. <laughs> see, the system that Brian uses, the earworms can't see each other. But the system that Mike uses, we could. So there's no yeah. point in me doing root signs tonight because nobody else can see it. Which which reminds me. We know you're um, doing it though, Mark. I have to do a, a, a test run with Mike tomorrow of this fancy system he uses. So a little bit of this on the bottom. So this is going to be the darkest colour. 
I hope this works. It's supposed to work. So do we. Well, sure, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. What's the worst can happen? Turn it off, start again. Exactly. Got plenty of time. No the Australians are up all of our night. So I'm just uh, kind of you know, just kind of letting that kind of streak on up there a little bit. Blend it up. So as it can blend in it a little bit. But I want the bottom to be quite dark. Michelle says, Brian, remember yes. the five Ps. Oh. Preparation planning prevents peer poo, pee, pee poo performance. It does. You're right. I'm well prepared. I've been in here all day. Basically because I'm not allowed in the house. You're a plague carrier, aren't you? Because, because apparently I'm a plague Because I'm a bit of a plague carrier, apparently. It's nothing to do with the plague. It's just all, all brown in the house. It makes a mess of the place. At least he doesn't take any shavings in there, Pete, like you. Well, Lisa loves hoovering, so I've got to take the shavings and spread them around a bit. <laughs> Michelle loves hoovering that much. She's trying to get me to do it. <laughs> there we go. We've got bad yeah, apple kind of woodworks in the chat. There's, there's, Good evening, there's, bad uh, apple. Well, good morning or good afternoon. Where Hold are you? on a minute. What I'm doing? Plum and forest green kind of makes a blue colour. How did that work? <sighs> I don't know. So this is pear green now going on, guys? Trinity colours, pear green. Mm, looks like a single can to me, no pear. Katie, I do no, believe Brian, they are gonks in the background. They are gonks, yes. I was going to say there's a conversation going on here of whether they you just don't have beards yet. In the background. In the background. They're, they're, yes, they're right. gonks that have had a shave. Naked gonks. They're gonks without beards. Naked, they naked the gonk, beards yeah. on you. It's a naked gonk. Um, what do you call them, please? Here was one down there in Bude. What? A naked beach place. Naturist beach. That's the one. It's a naturist place. For naturist gonks. And another uh, colour. Lewis is asking, do you have a premiere tonight as well? No. 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 Lewis has no got a premiere tonight, anyway. Lewis, Lewis better have a premiere. Yeah, yeah, I stick you it better put a link in my chat there. Uh, Lewis is driving, so we better find his link. All right, okay. one of you guys can find it there. You sure, Terry? Mark oh, Taylor. I can actually. I can't do it on this machine. He can't do uh, it because he's on the red way. And he's I can't do it and watch us do this. He, he, he can't do uh, it. Right. Mark can do it because he's got like nine right. machines. Mark. As well. All right, Mark. All right, Mark, don't get excited. Richard Phelan's joined us. Good evening, Richard. Hi, Hello, Richard. Richard. Hi, Richard. I need to talk to you about some blanks, big lad. Start cutting the blanks, Richard. Start Please. cutting the blanks. Here's a link to Lewis Gondar Crossman's premiere tonight. Following this. 10.30 as usual. Following this extravaganza. Was that music hey, from New cool. York, New York then, Brian? Start spreading the news. It is indeed. So now oh, I'm just randomly words, putting some um, honey just to lighten the whole thing up a wee bit. Just to give it a sort of cloudy kind of look. Casey says she's obsessed with Christmas. She's in full Christmas mode already. Ah, me too. Already. Me too, Katie. I love Christmas, Christmas with a passion. Katie, it's September already. Another two months, yeah. three months to go, yeah. I did start a small start stop with good intentions back in about March. Mm. And nope. around about the second week of March, I kind of got fed up with it and I haven't done any since. And no doubt I will be cussing the fact I haven't prepared properly in a couple of weeks' time. You will. <laughs> I bought my first I, Christmas I, present last night. I did. I did start to. I, I, I had for full, anybody, full of for anybody nice or just because for you. I did start making these for other people. Lot of yeah, snowmen. I've got hundred of them already. Yeah. But that's as many as I've got now. So kind of, kind of beat that. So now, oh, got a bit of sawdust on there. I think I've got about a hundred snowmen and about fifty trees made. But so I think so. Is the next thing. 
And if I didn't drop it on the floor. Is this your own made concoction? Yep, this is mine. I made this. Good Get on. I mean, it all. it's all over my nice clean lid. Oh, no. Uh... Blending the, the colours too much. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. <clears throat> Come on, right. Come on, right. Let's get a good rub there. Katie said, "Do you need to get a Christmas present for Chris? Yorkshire grit is good, yeah. Yep. It Yorkshire certainly is, Katie. Yep. And it'd be much appreciated." As well. Ten of each, or two tins of each. Yeah, it depends how much you want to spend. It's not that expensive. Yeah, no. Oh, anyway, two, two tins of each per grand. Uh, based on my use, I'd, I'd have two of the black and one of the white. Yeah, or three of the black and one, two, one of the white. If you're going to get them in <gasps> fours. I was thinking the same, Glenn. Glenn's w wondering why you put embellishing wax under. So is I. We're all wondering, Brian. Will Just we see it? Make, see, see what? See what? It make any difference to the colours? Because you can actually see when you look at it. There's little blue specks. Um, you, you'll not see it. You need to be close up to it to see it. But well, that, the light, that That's light it. blue. I know it's not any good for you, but I haven't got a camera that will show you. But there is blue in the grain. When you There's blue uh, in the grain. The, when you tip it against the light. So that was sanding sealer. Um, what am I going to finish this with? Questions, question, question. Just a bit of answer machine, I think. I'll stick some ham sheen on it. Mike used Mike use garden centers put an apology up saying sorry it's early for Christmas. So there must be sending stuff already. Yeah. Yeah, our <clears> garden center is. And they're doing need big to take gonks these gloves as off well. Them. Yeah, no. The fluffy ones. Fluffy gonks. Are they doing gonks? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gonks are a thing these days. Yeah. Just PM two. My eye on one. So, so Tina's fault. Is apparently. So we'll just have to let this uh, dry for a minute or two, guys. So chat amongst yourselves then. Chat amongst yourselves there. We're chatting. <laughs> We're chatting. <laughs> We're chatting amongst ourselves. We've are you uh, all talking to yourselves? Like, is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'm getting towards Zomb the bottom of the first beer. I mean, come on. Z Zombie reckons there should be a law. There should be no Christmas till the first of December. No, I reckon there shouldn't be no blinking Christmas until the twenty-first of December. Yeah, that's yeah, Christmas at all, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, jeez, yeah. here we go. The Grinches are out in force tonight, guys. No, I just yeah. ban it all together. Miserable Grinch, you miserable Grinch. Well, I'd, I'd rather not take part yeah. in Christmas, but you know. Did anybody watch my little video about the little Christmas tree I made the other day? Yesterday? Put it up yesterday? Anybody watch it? No. Did yeah, anybody recognise the bit of music they I came watched with? it. No. You didn't recognise the bit of music? I don't mute. I think you should go back and listen. What? Yeah, oh, I think you should go back and listen to the music. I watch most of Brian's videos on mute because the music's terrible. My music, my music is not terrible. <laughs> Steve Ash learned to turn his head up. We said hello to him, did we? We say hello to Steve Ash. Afternoon, evening, Steve. Good evening. Steve. What I might do with this actually is give it a coat of uh, lacquer or two. No, just checking. Right, doesn't it, Belgian white? So you put not paying attention. I was, but. Of course, I wouldn't be like you for you not paying attention. Not at all. So I'll just, we'll I'll just do this brain. one coat of wax, guys, and we'll see what it looks like. Let's see what that looks like. What do you think? You always turn it off, can you? I like that. I like <clears throat> two, like, two likes, anyway. I like it. Don't care about you. So you can add a bit more light to it, see if that helps Actually got a close up of that. We've got a really close, good close up. Can we get in? Really close. Still close up. I think you know. 
Yeah. So we see the brain. Over, overhead close up. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not too bad that you see that. It's just kind of washed out. Yeah, because I'm coming from the camera. Well, they're there, yeah, it's the colours are there. Oh, it's looking okay. Looks nice when you bring it up close. Cool, I like it. In case yeah, it looks like uh, Tiger's Eye, that gemstone you get. All right, okay, that's good. Mm. Um, take it off the chuck. Wrong way again. There we go. And I need to take the chuck off. Okay. So I'm not using this big chuck, I'm going to use my small chuck. And I'll put this back up on a nice rack that I made for my chucks just above the lathe here. But uh, my good friend Steve made me some uh, chuck holders, let you see them quickly. Jason Leverin says it looks good, Brian. He's glad he suggested you colour it. Well done, Jason. Oh, that's the wrong camera. It's this one. So if you look on the wall there, there's my chucks just opposite the lathe. Look at that, chuck and these little, these little chuck holders. Um, I'm trialling these for Steve, Steve at SK Crafts. So there's a five-inch chuck sitting on one of them there. Four-inch chuck. Three and a half, three and a half. And then little two-inch ones on the end, so... They will, they're standing up well to the punishment I'm giving them. Let's go back to that camera. Mark, you need to order another chuck. Is a spare chuck holder. There is, but I, <coughs> we, know, we, we know what that's for, don't we, Mark? We do. <laughs> so we'll just pop that on there. Pop that on there. Has Joe disappeared again? She has. Is she? I, I'll let you in in a second, Joe. <coughs> just leave her out till after the crit. Nope, my name's not After Terry. Song. Let me just move that over there out of the way. Bring up my tailstock just for a second. Make sure it goes right in the middle, that's good. I'll loosen that a little bit, push that in, and now tighten that up. You'll get to you in a minute, Joe. He's just having a five minute some, peaceful break. Just having a struggle there, Joe. There we go, you're back, Joe. Thank you. There we go. So, that's that. Peter Crocker has just joined. Just, uh, we'll just get rid of the, uh, the faceplate ring. I difficulty remembering his name now. Just held on with 20, 25 mil screws. Four 25 mil screws. Which is plenty for that little bowl. I don't think I told you how big the bowl was to start with, did I? Steve from SK Graphs is saying, do you think the modified chuck holder is better? <coughs> the modified uh, chuck holder is much stronger, Steve. Um, but I've not had any trouble with the original ones. The original ones have got a hole down through the middle. Uh, the modified ones now are solid. Um, the only... The only little difficulty you have sometimes is actually get the thread started and if you don't get it started right it'll chew the thread up because it's such a big coarse thread um, but if you just take your time the first few times get it on right it's fine and I mean they're just sitting there it's a great idea so you could have a little protruding boss on the front so you slide it on and then turn it it will start automatically then I've got to say Brian Yes, I've got the stainless steel ones from Axminster. Yep. Uh -huh. so I treated myself, and they're yep. actually difficult to get mm. on properly too. Oh, okay. So it might just be because it's such a big thread. Whatever material you're going to use, it's going to be difficult to. You just have to be careful. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Certainly have to. What I'm doing now is uh, when I set it on, uh, rather than try to spin it on first, I do anti-clockwise until you feel a little clunk in. And then turn it, and then then screw Who's this Grandma Ruth Tube woman then? Grandma Ruth, is she? <laughs> Hello, oh, Grandma Ruth man. Tube. Grandma Ruth they? Tube says, to see. Great. "Got an experienced wood turner." Oh, bloody hell! I wonder who that is. 
Oh, she's still in bed, you woman. Yeah. Oh, she's We've talking. She's talking Bunny about me. The... She's oh, talking yeah. about me. In she's just saying well. experience with Turner you were in. I see. <laughs> Your wife been drinking again, Terry? Absolutely. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit wobbly there, Brian, isn't it? No, that's not. what she said. No, it's a bit wobbly, do you? Ned says, I use masonry screws, haven't broken one in months. The thing is, said, uh, I use wood screws and I've never had one broken. <laughs> yeah, he's actually broken one a few months ago. <laughs> No, that oh, will be Brian. Bit, I mean, Brian, that's a bit yeah, out of Yeah, she's seen that. Doesn't go off. Jason believes in me anyway. Is that uh, Mortis bombed out or? No. No, there's a good six or seven mil between the. Well, you, got, the... you got a big wobble on it, Brian, so. Oh, did. Yeah. I'd loosen it again and push the chuck in tight. Yeah. I think what I might have to do is take it off and have a look. You haven't got a shaving strap in or anything? Yeah, could be a shaving jam. Can That's it? just what I've got to look for. All right. Good night, Katie. Hi, right, Katie. Okay. Cheers, Katie. Don't drive up here, please. Yeah, go on. <laughs> drive up and give him a slap. Yes. Yeah, it's right. No, it doesn't appear to be in there. Hold on, before you put that back That's on there, same. just do me do me one favour. What? Just just check the jaws on the chuck, make sure they're tight. Yep. Okay. Right. Strange just one other thing to eliminate. It looks eliminate. quite a way out, isn't it? It does a bit, eh? Rob from Copper O thinks maybe your chuck's cross threaded. You wouldn't be able to screw it all the way on if it was crossed over. No, no, the chuck's not crossed over. Right, I'll just put that on there and turn it on dead slow without tightening the chuck, see what happens. Turn it the right way down, I think. Turn it on. You can do this with this lace, it starts off about 40. That's miles off. Well, what you could do now is bring it to the top so you've got the, the most out and then give it a tap before you put the center in give it a tap and get it right and then put the center in and tighten it up yeah i'm, I'm thinking your dovetail's not cut right there's yeah, something wrong with the dovetail yeah i would take the center away from it and just put some pressure on, on the middle with your thumb then tighten it up it could be that your center mark is off have you got your head stock centered up to the tail stock Oops. That could be the problem, Brian. That could be an issue, guys, because... You moved to the headstock, did you? Headstock, you? I moved the headstock yesterday. Uh, I should center it up it. first, mate. <laughs> that might have put you, that's probably put your mortise out, then. So, would put Keith is in. He said, sorry, I'm late. I had to make 60 Christmas trees to replenish stocks. We're just Sold talking about that. We're just talking about that, Keith. Good evening. That is wildly off case. So what I'm going to do now? Yeah, yeah, your head stocks off. I will put the faceplate back on. Yep. Send her the head stock and recut the dovetail. That's all right. I can do that. Actually, then the, the old thing might be out. It will be. Yeah. Yeah. But if you match it without the tail stock, then it shouldn't make any difference whether the head's straight or not. No. Well, it shouldn't really. But there's something wrong with this mo the, the mortise I've cut, obviously. Bad Apple Woodwork says, I mostly like when I'm not the only one having these kinds of issues, so thanks, Brian. Oh, no, Jesse, you're all right, mate, because <laughs> I have these issues all the time. This learning, is by, what, learning by example here. <laughs> this is what learning's about. Anybody can, uh, you get lots of channels there, it'll, you'll see perfect wood turning. Not in this one. <laughs> you get worse than all here. You get there is not a turner alive well. that does perfect every single time. No, nope, definitely not. Not one. And anybody that says they do is lying. 
I mean, people like uh, Steve Jones will get perfect 99.9% of the time. He won't show you the ones that don't. Let's just take this uh, little chuck off again. Luckily, I have a tool. I have to get in the habit of taking that thing out. Nigel Foster said, maybe it's all the shavings on the floor. Oh, sorry, that was oh. James Everyone. <laughs> Jason Everyone said that. Oh, Nigel no. Foster didn't say that. There, there is some shavings on the floor tonight, right? Now, but, uh, what I'm looking for now, I'm looking for this thing. Nigel Foster likes these type of live streams because he likes the mistakes and the problems. Good land there. Which came came free with the lathe. Well, it didn't come free because I paid for the damn thing, but it came with the lathe. Steve Mesky across is asking a question, eh? Something about Tom Dumps. Let's just see how far off this is. It's not off. Is it? Yes. Steve is wondering why they're 63 watching, but only 27 thumbs up. Because nobody likes it. Simple. It's not off, guys. They'll all put the thumbs up when he gets his running through. Have you uh, slackened off the headstock and then done it? Yeah, but just slacking it there. There he is. Slacking there now. Okay. It's loose. Tighten it back up then. So really. give it a quick screw up there. Do that. Take this back out again. Could be then that, it's um, the earworm's fault. Of course it is. No, it's oh, it's Mark's. Mark's fault. It's always Mark's fault. Mark's fault for everything. Oh, yeah. Okay. David, oh, I said it's Mark's fault. You need to knock out a stick for that one. Steve's winching in oh, the background. Oh. Steve, Steve S.K. Grassy. Look at that mess under the lights. I know. It's a bit shocking, Steve. It's not like me. Could it's that have been put you off, off the right look. angle? You stood on some, so you actually had the two at the wrong angle, and you no, messed I'm up just the dovetail. Worried that my could be that sheep chuck. Put this uh, SC4 chuck back on again, <laughs> and put this back on again. Hi. That's what well, the power of giving SC2s two, away. If that spins perfectly now, did you have? Uh, was the flat, the face flat? Hey, look at that, it's perfect. No, it's not. All right, now see if the dovetail's running out. Inside, not the outside. Yeah, he's got a slight uh, wobble on the bottom looks there. Looks like it. Yeah. There's a little bit of a wobble. Huh? It looks like the bottom is not flush flat. I should recut that. Yeah. Recut okay. the base. Recut the base and flatten it off. Just remember, you've cut it when you um, get your depth gauge to measure the depth of the bowl. Ah, sorry, no, don't start with the depth gauge. What, the what? Gauge still yeah, right. everybody's getting one of those depth gauges. Uh -huh. If you can ever, if the supplier ever gets any in stock, uh, we were, we were going to get some last week. I thought. No, you, I was watching. I passed to the postman every single day last week. But Brian, light cut, a very light cut, and you can see how far it's running off. A very light cut. Other camera, so we can see it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's, what. That's what we're here for. Is it running off? Even so lighter cut, so you Monday. see some color. Even lighter cut, so you see some color and not color, just to start with. I can't cut it any later. That's, it's not cutting there. That's it. That's as light a cut as I can get. Then it's not running that far off, is it? Oh, it is a bit. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't need to be much there. Steve, stop staring. Look, Miller. At Wood you got one of those shucks, Steve. Yes. Good evening. Steve's got, a, Steve's got a depth gauge, apparently. Oh, right. Doesn't work for Steve, does it? Well, it doesn't. Well, to be fair, he hasn't gone through the, the wrong depth. Since he had one. Yeah, but all his bolts no, no. are six. No, no. No, no. I think you sent him, I think you sent him the uh, depth gauge and then he had two in a row. Mm. No, he had two in a row, then I sent him the depth cage, and he hasn't had one since. Because so it's okay to send Steve a depth gauge then, but not us. That's all right, we know, we don't care. We send him to his friends. Right, that's, yeah. that's as flat as I can get that. Okay, when, and now make sure your dovetail, just, just try and clean it out very lightly and see if it's off-center. 
Mark no Hughes Mark... Uh, said, I thought the answer would turn it off and on again. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's turning it off and back on again. Yeah, back on again. Nigel, you can uh, email me or if you actually do probably want a couple, I do sell them, yeah. Um, oh, we're not getting them for free, guys. We have to pay for them. Yeah, pay for everything. We even got to pay for taking the mick out of Jill. And she sees this. Mark's top of the list, though. <laughs> yeah, Mark's going to pay the most. I'll take it Jill's still here, is she? And go right. out again. I am. So. Oh, okay. Now. They put me right. two little lines back again, then. That should be square now, then, Brian. Yeah, I'll put me two little lines back in again. Just use the point of the skew there, just to... Two little highlight I would, marks. I would leave the face plate on for a minute then when you spin it. Just see yeah, if that's right. Really well, there's not much more I can do if it's not. Leave it on the truck. Bad Apple Woodworks is having to go back to work. See you later. See you later, Bad Apple. See Take you later. Bye, Bad Apple. Thanks for coming out. Hope you have a nice day. Oh, Which apparently miss? Michelle's got one. What? A depth gauge? Yeah, she said, Mark, thanks for the depth gauge. Oh, well, there you go. See, put your tail stuck up in it. Oh, the yeah, cone center thing. That's the. That's what you told me the last time, and I've forgotten already. No, no. Oh, it's not there. Oh, oh, Terry. Got a label on it somewhere. Terry, what have you done with cone center, Terry? Should be a label on it. Cone center. Oh wait a minute. I know where it is. Sorry. It's on the old one. Clint had a problem, and Clint from Wood Dancer said he, he had some CA stuck on one of his jaws, and that made a difference. Couldn't figure out for a while. You haven't been using CA, Brian. I you? put that on there. Nope. That's it. Oh, when you wind the house stock out, there you go. It's better. Push that in there. Put that in there. Give that a tighten up. That's the wrong way again. Other way. I'll try tightening it instead of loosening it. I've made this more it's too big, you know. Oh, yeah. As long as it holds. As long as it holds. Should be alright. Just turn it as tight as to you hear the first crack, just before. Yeah, that's what I just did. Right, so this should well, work. Push it, put your centre back in. Put it back in. Why? Go back in. Back in. Wait a minute. Yes, Terry. Dominic from Target 64 is just yeah. Back in, back in. Yes, Terry. Um, and turn the leg on slow. It's been so entertaining that I forgot to join the chat. So See if your chuck runs well. out as against <laughs> the ball. Turn the chuck on. Turn on. Chuck running square. Appears to be. That's it then. We cracked it. Appears to be. Good There's another wobble on that ball still. Yeah, well, the wobble is. Um, can I show you your overhead there? What do you think? Nope. No, the wobble's only on the front bit, isn't it? Just here? Yeah, but with yeah, yeah. this. You've got to face like it off, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Like it's fine now. It's, 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 it's got to be faced off, isn't it? That's, that's, that's what right. Are you happy now? Can I take us away? <laughs> you can take it away now. Turn yeah. it around. Gee, thanks, Terry. You're welcome. Turn it around. Don't forget to take the other chuck off before you start cutting. <laughs> Now, what you could do is take that chuck off with it all on, spin it right round, put the side the centre back in that chuck, and it should be perfect. <laughs> I'll, go put, I'll go put the centre back in you guys in a minute or two. <laughs> <laughs> do my head up. Doug Miller's in. Do we say hello to Doug? Hello, Doug. It's like, we have. No, oh, right. Yes. It's like watch with Doug mother, anyway. that's for God's sake. SK114, as you see, that's what you need. Set of those record no, chucks on there. No, I don't. Let's just try that now. Now, if you had Axe Mr. Jules, I would say you need an SK114. But if you don't have Axe Mr. Jules, you don't need one. Yeah, so Zed's got it right. Embrace the bubble. That's what I'm doing this time, Zed. We're just going for it. Yeah. yeah. Unscrew it. Well, there you go. 
Let's hope there's some good advice in the chat. Um, turn it off and on again. Hit it with a big hammer. More speed. Yeah. Big hammer, yeah. More speed, the wobble will disappear. Yeah, yeah. good idea. <laughs> so might live if it's too, too out of balance. So is everything else? Good idea. Good idea, guys. Wow, Once you face it off, it'll look better. Colin Jarmus has just joined. Don't <laughs> Colin. I don't know, Colin. Hi, Colin. Colin. Colin Jarmus. I don't remember that name very much. No, Actually, Jason has made a good point. The colour can make it look as though it's off, even when it isn't. Let's have a look and see, yeah? Let's turn the speedy up a bit. Let's not turn the speed up a bit first. Let's uh, drop this tool rest a wee bit first. But there from there. Change that camera back to there. Now we'll go for it. Get that first cut, it'll be fine. Turning tonight. Dead suggesting if you move your tool in and out in sync with the wobble, that would be perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching an old 78 record there. You did say it's uh, turned the speed up as well, so move the tool in sync with the piece at 2000 RPM, you'll be fine. Now, Rufus said, in the words of a nurse, the product result is the angle of the dangle and it's looking good. So, yeah, Brian, if you get your angle of your dangle right, it'll be all right. So I need a, just a little <coughs> rum on this. Right well, sure I've got to leave us. Cheers, Mark. Bye, Mark. Right, Steve Ash is asking a question. He's saying, does the SK100 have a locking screw on it? I bought an Aldi special lathe for 80 quid with an SK100 on it. He can't get the chuck off. Right, if it's got a locking screw, it will be visible in a collar at the back of the chuck. So the, um, I think it's, is it two or three grub screws in that one? Um, I think it's two. I think it's two. two. It's two yeah. Um, and there'll be just little hex headed grub screws and they'll be quite visible. More likely, it's just been left on there a long time and it's seized on. It's seized on, yeah. So the answer to that is uh, lock the spindle. If you can. Half a piece of wood, about 18 inches long, between the jaws, and use that as your lever to get it undone with. So it won't move at all. It would move if it was on locking screws. Because they just fit into a collar. Andy is saying it's got three screws on the SK100. Three on the SK. So yeah. Steve hasn't got a spindle lock on it, so. No spindle lock. Um, no. Well, there's your problem then. <laughs> You've got to lock that spindle somehow or get it tight. Open the cover, see if you can get a spanner on it somewhere. You've got to find some way of locking that spindle. Just have a look at that, see what that looks like. Well, I can't see any thin bits oh, on that yeah. wall, so it looks as though it's fairly level. You can't see no light through it yet. Just want to take we're a little bit in. more off this edge. Doing Stephen, we're doing. Doing Stephen. Hiya. So all the pressure on my fingers is downwards. It's not guiding a tool in any way at all. Just straight down. Excuse my fingernails. That's quite a nice finish off the tool there. Sand that Steve, I love that, uh, love that hollow form you did the other day, mate. 
Yeah, Finian one that was absolutely stunning. Mm. Finished the out of his world. It certainly was. You can stop now. We're all impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, remember your mortis depth as well. Just check in. So I know you yeah. don't have a depth gauge. That's as far as I'm going. I'm not getting any deeper than that. Well, you can't do it without a depth gauge. Mark's whistling again. <laughs> I'm just beginning to think whether I need new friends. <laughs> where are you going to find them? <laughs> <laughs> Same place I found you, lot. If we were on an NDA-based system, we'd be watching Mark doing some gestures right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> well, you could turn a, turn a bowl inside that bowl there inside the center to make it a dipping bowl. I could, yep. Not going. Mark, Mark would love that. <coughs> no, you couldn't. One of Good, not favorites. about to. No. I could leave a little depression in the middle and just hollow it out, use it for for uh, toothpicks. True. Yeah. You're yeah, not helping, Steve. Steve. You're not helping. Apparently, Steve has got a depth gauge. His mate Mark made it for him. Yeah. My mate Mark made it for me. Oh, the his Mark. Oh, his mate Mark. Oh, all right. Did he, okay. did he mention it? I think he might have, Steve. But thanks for telling us. Colin Chalmers is asking, what cameras are you using? Brian, what cameras are you using? What was that? What, what cameras, cameras are you using? using? Uh, the the cameras, all my cameras are C920 Logitechs. They're just webcams. Oops. Is Joe still there? Probably not. Yep, Joe's still here. She's falling asleep. Oh, yeah. No, oh, she's, she's awake. awake. Is like... Okay, I'll just check. She'll be warming up her larynx, larynx in a minute. Uh, she'll be gone in five minutes. I'd just like to again. add that I don't have a depth, a depth cage either. No, well. Thank you, Joe. No. You're the last no. person who's going to make Other. a depth cage for. He's on top of the list, isn't he? What you need is to find a friend like Steve who'll make you one. Yeah. Perhaps Steve could give you his depth gauge and Mark make him another one. Hey. Is this where I go? Try la la la. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. I think that'll do for now. So just grab the quick power sander. And we'll quickly power sand this. What do you say? He's, uh, he's just about to get a webcam to start making some videos. Oh, that's good. good. Excellent. Um, Stephen. Oh, I started with some uh, sort of 10 and 15 pound webcams. And they worked yep. fine for picture, but the colour wasn't so good. Colour was terrible in mine. I, have got no, I, I had two of them. Uh, and I bit the bullet and bought the C920s because they're much, much better colour. And they're now down to about 60 quid, so. Yeah. yeah. Because they've introduced a new C922 or something. Perry's got one of them, I think, hasn't he? Yeah, I've got one of those. Perfect coloration. Lovely. Yeah. So mine's fine. I so the image is about the same, that. but the colour is better on a more expensive. Yeah. Um, but they're not that expensive. No, they're not. No, they're, no, no. they're about 120 quid or something. No, no. no. Grandma Ruth's in. Grandma Ruth's in. It's only 12.99. Oh, 12.99, of course, yeah. Sorry. Hold of me, Terry. Sorry, mate.
I actually picked up two 930s, which is yep. a wider angle. Um, and they were sold mostly for businesses, for conference room type things. And I got them second hand. And I paid 60 quid for the pair of them. So. Mm. Uh, well, there's deals to be had here. Yeah? There's no date. Yeah, I've got a, nine, a 930 over the lathe, and it's a wider angle. You've got to bring it down a bit bit further, but that's, you know, by the by. Uh, but it is, uh, colour's lovely. That only cost, I think that was £40, I think it was. Total. Yep. <coughs> Total so Ruth, Ruth's Excuse listening. me, guys. Excuse me. Ah, yeah, she don't mind. Ruth, Ruth's listening. <coughs> are you, I'm not, are you I'm sure not. you want to carry on about depth gauges there, Terry? It's not a problem. She, goes, she, knows, know. she knows when she knows when when I when I die. She knows what to sell my lathe for. Call me. She was going to say sell, sell Brian's for twelve ninety nine. No, she's not. So that's got a really sharp rim on it, there, guys. I'm just going to take a little bit of sandpaper and just take the the sharp edge off of that. Peter, no, they're actually twelve pounds each. Two for twenty-two pounds. Yeah. Bargain. If you can get hold of them, because normally they're out of stock. Been out of stock for months. Yeah, they have been out of stock uh, for months and months. They've been and out months. of stock for months because I haven't been able to find the stainless steel rods that I use, but I've found it now. Right there you go. That's uh... Trevor P. Hobby Turner said, "Why have you got webcams, Pete? If you have no internet." The thing the is, Trevor, I'm waiting for it to be delivered. I'm trying to throw my carrier pigeons to get fast enough to actually deliver live feed, but so far they're just not fast enough. He also does make the occasional video. That's why he uses them. Yeah. Steve at SK Craft uses Canon 806, which is really helpful, Steve, because they're obsolete now. You can't buy them now. Yeah. Well, William, William's asking if you can make um, our normal cameras better for making videos. They are. Uh, better, William. Um, yes. If you can use, you know, single lens reflex cameras, but they normally only last 30 minutes and then you've got to restart them unless you get the video cameras like Mark's got, which is and, a Canon. And then, you need a, and then you need a captured card and all sorts of nonsense. <laughs> only standing up to 240, guys. Do you know why that is? Because you're going to be because using Yorkshire yeah. grip. You're going to inflict Joe upon us. Colin Trump nope. said he's thinking about getting the You're Logitech Brio. You're going to have Brio. to listen to the voice of an angel. The trouble with the Logitech Brio is it's a 4K camera. And at the current time, you can't use 4K on YouTube. So no. it's kind of a waste. Mm. But um, they are good cameras, I believe. Steve uses a Canon 8, 8, 806, is it? Yep, yeah, Canon 806. Obsolete. Canon Nequia 806, they don't make them anymore. Oh, they don't? Oh, okay. No. Nope. Uh, that's what I do my videos with. What's the replacement then? They haven't launched it yet. I haven't launched it yet. That's right. So you can't get the 806 and you can't get anything that's similar. I'll find that. Well, find well that you, can. For Canon. Well, you can. <laughs> you can, but, but, but it's a whole lot more Sony, expensive. By Sony, Panasonic, All right. or other companies, mm -hmm. just Canon have. Stopped making the 806 and they haven't launched their new one yet. Which I thought was seriously strange. Mm. Because Canon are usually really switched on at that kind of stuff. Maybe they'll get out of the Maybe they'll get out of the camcorder market. We'll change again. We'll be using 4K or oh, we will, whatever. Eh? 8K cameras will be on the market. But at the moment, 1080p is the best you can get on YouTube. That's a bit plain on the inside. Jason Leveron is asking if you and, you and Joe could do a duet, Brian, because Brian sounded good this morning. Oh, right. Not in my ear, he didn't. That's because you're tone deaf. Don't. Used to be able to sing. Used to sing on stage. I know. Hmm. We know this. You've told us before. Say so used what to. What happened? Sandy, uh, yeah. you get chucked out because you can't sing. <laughs> you get chucked stop out because you can't sing. We have kids. It's basically, stop doing everything. It's, re it's really simple, right? So, um, you Sandy Sealer first. It's a posh label. 
Does yes. Glyn print that on all of them? Nope. No. We should do. But if you need one, I'll supply it. Along with my sticker, if anybody wants a sticker swap. Quite happy to do sticker swaps. This is my sticker here. It's actually a magnetic little job. Posh. Posh. Done on my uh, laser engraver. It needs to be burnt a little bit more. We'll turn the speed down. Yeah, and you know where I live. Not, not that far. <laughs> Colin's asking if the Brio will work for IRDs. Um, it will work for everything. It's just uh, yes, you'll you need to run it at 1080p to get the broadband bandwidth and everything else that you need to actually transfer your image from one place to another. Uh, 4K Joe. isn't necessary. I didn't want to interrupt uh, Pete. Go, Joe. You, you can I'll carry on talking. As you dogs will scream. Like 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 you are gritty. There you go. Nice try. Oh, what a beautiful. That was a proper dog's dinner, that was. Was it? Scott, uh, SK Craft says, oh, that would be nice, Brian. A stick from you. Uh, so you need a sticker. I mean, oh, a sticker. sticker. Oh, all right. You have you not got one, Steve? Oh, have yeah. you not got one of Mark's? Oops. No. Oops. Not got one of Brian's stickers, Mark's stickers. I've got one of Steve's. Look down here. Oh, oh yes, you. of course you have that. Anyway. We haven't and got Mark. one of Brian's either. The, the glue oh. gave up. I don't have one either. I don't have any stickers. Well, I've got Mark's sticker, Glynn's sticker. I had to stick this one back on my double-sided sellotape because the glue gave up on it. <gasps> but that's because I transferred it from one lathe to another. It's my own. That's my own fault. It's not a faulty sticker. I found it. Oh, look, the Mars has got a hole in his link. Uh, oh, he said he would send me a new one, but he hasn't bothered his rear end. Well, I'm uh, waiting for you to order more doors and I'll send it all in one bulk. Give you the order I yesterday. Got any stickers? Because we've been told that shortly after we get internet, they'll invent paper so we can make stickers. But at the moment, yeah. we can't. No. <laughs> So roughly do this notebook. for about three minutes, guys. Roughly till you feel the grit has disappeared. I can still feel the grit, so I'm just going to keep going for a minute. Pete, on, on, a on a serious note, if you add 4K cameras and produce 4K videos, could you put them up on the YouTube at a fast enough speed? Do they put them out at 4K? No. No, they don't. No, no that's so YouTube's much. YouTube's maximum is 1080. <laughs> because well, I see somebody saying 4K videos when you know, different videos on YouTube. They're saying, um, yeah. They might have said yeah, it up it's 4K, but it's not coming down as 4K. It's not coming down as right. 4K. Not a whole um, hell. I mean, at the end of the day, you need a fast computer to edit 4K. Mm. You need very, very fast um, bandwidth to transmit 4K. At the moment, it's not there. Yeah. That's not to say it's not going to be there in five years' time, but at the moment, it's not there. Right. I don't feel any grit there now. I just kinda, it's just kind of starting to feel smooth. So that's the time to speed it up a little bit. Oh, not that fast. Woo! Oh, no, that guy's just fasting, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, it does in one belt. Yeah, it does. The other lady have to change the belt to get the really fast speeds. But the middle belt, and this is adequate for everything I've done so far. I've only had it a few days, of course. And now a nice clean piece of cloth. Grandma Ruth Tube saying she loves the bowl, Brian. Thank you. Kiss, kiss. Who said that? Grandma Ruth. Ruth. Ah, thank you, Ruth. <laughs> She's a bugger, isn't she? You wait till I get in there. Yeah, I think you get in, Ruth will be in bed, kiddo. She will. She got work in the morning. Night, babe. I'll slam the door when I come in. As usual. Trip over himself and try to take his socks pants. off. I have to, say, say, had to go there, so I, I said, you'll rattle a few pots and pans, <laughs> and then you'll get out a packet of the world's noisiest crisps. Crisps, yes, and some cheese, a drop of red wine, taking some rays. That'd be good. Yeah, you no 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 uh, chat room last night. I was when I and I'm stuck in my room in my office because I'm supposed to be self isolating. But the good news is, I did a a, a lateral flow test today. 
And it came back negative. Surprise, surprise. All right. So I'll do another one tomorrow, and if that's negative, that's me. That's my that's my confining over him. Yeah, I'm back to normal. Right, let's have a look at that. See what you think. Zombie Woodturner makes an excellent point. 4K takes forever to copy to the computer. Takes forever to process your edits. Computer gets hot and bothered. Then takes forever to upload, and 93% of your viewers won't even notice the difference. Difference. Absolutely <laughs> true. Spot on. The Actually, difference I'm between not... 1080 and 4K is so negligible. It's no, not worth doing. Well, people haven't got 4K monitors to watch it on, so... That's so exactly. that's the other Most thing. Most people are watching it on a, on a, a phone. They've got 4K monitors, they've got 4K um, phone screens. If you click on the little cog at the bottom of your YouTube screen um, and look at the quality, which is the uh, bottom of that box that pops up, you'll probably find you're on 480 at the moment. I was going to say, yeah. 480p. Um, <laughs> and that image is pretty good. Well. Once this is finished uploading, you might get it at 1080, but at the moment, you're probably watching on a 480p. Dominic. T64, evening Dominic, wants to know what the internet connection speeds are across the pond. I'll tell you, you're in America then. Or are we um, crossing the pond from our side, Dominic? Do you, do you want to have a laugh and see what my upload speed is this evening? I mean, Brian's upload just, speed is yeah. about 4K. Yeah, usually. For a minute. I'm going to you a quick speed test. For an hour. Have a bit of fun here. Speed test. He's got a little mouse in the corner running the wheel. There's actually two two horses out the back on a treadmill. Just to let you know how slow Brian's really is, he started at 5 o'clock tonight, but you didn't get it till 7, 8. Speed test. Go. So I've just pressed a go on the speed test, guys. We'll see how long this takes. As I said, Brian is looking amazing on 720k, uh, 720p, so I think I might turn it down a bit. Hey, hey, enough of that, you. <laughs> Thought you were my friend, Tommy. <laughs> yeah. Friends like you who need enemies, that's all I can say. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Ping was 29 milliseconds. That's took 29 we milliseconds to ping you. <laughs> that's my should ping be point speed. 29. I know it should be. Uh, download speed is 16.69. It's absolutely like lightning this bite. evening. And upload is 4.4. .4. There you go. How about that? That's how long it takes to do a speed test. Back to that. There you are. So I'll just polish this up now. I think mean, mine is 110 little... download and 20 upload. I'm not, I'm not even asking Pete because this is ridiculous. He doesn't have any. He doesn't have any. I don't have any. Oh, yes, he does. Sorry. Yes, he does. He lies. But if he did, I hear the ones that have got it in Bristol are somewhere like. 200 down and 100, 100 up or something. Something like that, yeah. No, it's, it's 360 down and uh, 48 up. The internet that we haven't yeah. invented yet. That's fair enough. So Apparently, in, in everybody, enough else, apparently everybody in the chat, everybody in the chat, just listen up. Pete said he's going to start doing lives week after next. He's going to share with me. He never said that because he can't. Because he Thanks, Jason. The bottom line is, I think, you know, the Brio is a great camera, as far as I understand it. I haven't actually used one yet. Mm. And if you had a Brio, you wouldn't go wrong with it. Mm. But you'd be scaling it back to 1080p for realistic use. <laughs> so, therefore, you might as well save some money for the time being. Wrong way, yeah. So, they just well, just done the really, yes. bearing in mind, Bearing in mind, I've got... My phone running on Wi-Fi, YouTube running, and StreamYard, 26.5 download, 15.7 upload. Hmm. And that's in Butte in Cornwall. I that's mean, not bad for out the Ebrides, isn't it? Miles away. Butte's close to the... Uh, Back and beyond. Yeah, I was going to say, well, a, bit, a bit rougher than that, but a bit on that. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the... Uh, somewhere, somewhere of the... Uh, Where the smugglers live. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, I've remembered. I need a new chuck. Where's that thing? Oh. 
I'm going to start putting people in time out. They keep mentioning depth coaches. Yeah, that one will just saying. The thing is, the thing is with this uh, internet speed, it's all it's all rubbish, really, because as long as you've got enough speed to put it up there and and enough speed for YouTube to put it out to people. Are you, you saying know, it's the an quality, elephant? The, the, you, know, you don't need all this. I think you're trying to say it's an elephant, aren't you? Yeah, it's just... Uh, well, it is, I mean, if you've got eight computers running and things like that, and that's fair enough. But if you just got... You're going up on three cameras and back or two cameras or whatever, then why do you need it all? Why indeed, Terrence? Why indeed? <laughs> I'm doing pretty well with my little setup. I suppose the extra speed would be okay if you were putting videos up and uploading them, you know, rather than waiting an hour and a half, you'd do it in 10 minutes, you know. Steve, Steve says, did I hear Mark say he wears budgie smugglers? Budgie he's smugglers. only doing that because he knows he's got a spanner and I can't put him in time out. Yeah. <laughs> Brian can, then. Not gonna. It's true. He's not gonna. It's true. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't need to take the bottom off. What am I doing? It's not. I mean, you can you can round it so it looks professionally finished. It's finished. It's it's finished. Well, no, it's not a, if that was judged in a competition, I would say sorry, you haven't finished the bottom properly because you've got left a ten and marks. And tell, tell you what, I'll do. I'll not, I'll, I'll not mention. I'll not. I'll not mention it in a competition then. Okay. I'll just leave it the way it is. We're done. It's getting near half nine. So. Tom, you went back to the office. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to. <laughs> Get off my case. <laughs> Stop shouting at me. Leave me alone. Shout of bullies. Put your table up. That's it. Well, but Luna said sometimes I think I get 1k per day download speed. I need a depth gauge to speed it up. Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Oh. Oh. Camera movement. Oh, oh look at that. Look. It looks like a log. There you go. You got an emerging log out of the bottom of that bowl. <laughs> it's an American really nice shape thing. on that there, Brian. Very good. Excellent. So I just left that up there. It's a little... There's a bit of ash. And the bottom will get the two little circles there, and we'll get my maker's mark in the inside. It needs a little bit more sanding in there, but I'll do that by hand. And there's the inside. It's well very done. plain on the inside. They should have coloured the inside too. Super job. But there you go. You could put yeah, embellishing wax in that, couldn't you? Yeah. I could, Super. but I'm not going to. That'll do. Let me just bring my earworms back on the screen. If I can find the said mouse. Said mouse. Let's go there. There's there. There we go. There we are. All back. Go there. there we go. All back. Question. Can you ask a question? Yes, Brian, can I ask why the embellishing wipes before the colouring? I put it in so as you can see it, and it's in the grain. It actually, nice. you can't actually see it, Steve. You can't see it. But there's actually little glints of blue in the grain, particularly in this dark side. You can see, I don't know if you can oh, point it, you can't even see it. But if all else fails, Brian Ruth likes it. I don't know. There's kind of blue in this in the grain here. You can actually see it under the colour. It gets, kind of just shines through a little bit. It's just a tiny little hint of it, particularly there as well. It's nice. I like it. Anyway, any other questions? <laughs> Jason Leverin, lots of fun today. Enjoy it, Brian. Joe, Pete, Terry, thanks. Ted said he's got a, a premiere tomorrow if you want to see okay. Waffles, Cracks and Chaos, which I believe yeah. is actually Zed's specialty. That's, that's yes. I'm just going to say, there's very nothing good. new there from Zed, is it? Thanks, Jason. What's Jason say? Am I chocolate chop liver? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said, oh, and Mark, oops. Oops. <laughs> it's good to be left out, Mark. Huh? Okay. Mark, oops. Right, Brian, while you were showing that, I was just showing off my... Uh, oh, 
Just for any, anybody who wasn't in at the beginning. Is there anybody who wasn't in at the beginning? Lots of them. Most of, most of the ones who are yeah, in the beginning have left. They're all busy this, making temp cages. This is a thing that, uh, just so you can see it again. This is the piece that the guys made me make. Mark will maybe show you not the me, picture. Not of me. I didn't make you make it. No, Mark and Pete. Mark will show you the picture of, of what this was not holiday. a suggestion. That's what he said it should look like. And that, this, is my, uh, this is my interpretation. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> and I'm not even, little, I'm not even slightly box. ashamed. Did Ben Jarman come in? No. No, he's never been no. in. So we've got a finial on the top, and we have a little finial underneath as well. Can't really see it very well there. Uh, it doesn't protrude very far, close so you can't, I can't even see it. Bring it closer to the it. camera. Bring it closer to the camera, you can't really Not see even it. Sorry. There you go, look. Little there you go. finial you on it. the inside as well. On the inside. Mm. And a little Steve, finial. Stay craft like that, Brian. And this, like this, this mark you can see here is not a tool mark. It's actually a crack. Hmm. Well, Steve likes it. I like it. Dead. And the, and the lid actually fits. Like, exactly what I was going for. Mexican hat. Get out of here, Zed. <laughs> You're in trouble too. There we go. When's Lewis on? Did we, Lewis, did we get Lewis's half link in the chat? Yeah, his link's in the chat. Yeah. Good, good, uh, good. It's half past ten, Lewis is on. Yep. Tomorrow mm. lunchtime we've got Keith. Tomorrow evening we've got Andy. Yep. And Zed's got a premiere tomorrow evening. And we got Rob, oh, Rob on Wednesday Rob lunchtime. Wednesday lunchtime. Yeah. He's uh, making one of these. Wednesday evening. There's the link for, for Lewis. He's making some lace bobbins and some finials. Just put that in there. That's Rob. So there we go, guys. There's the, the production of the list in the last couple of days. I enjoyed that. I don't know about you guys. Steve said, uh, yeah. if you put some eyes on it, it'll look like a Mexican. <laughs> Joe only fell out once as well. It's supposed to be a pagoda box. It's Prince supposed to be a pagoda box. box. Yeah. Somebody in, <laughs> needs one more model, yes, yeah, so who does? <laughs> one more tenon. <laughs> so anyway, there we go, guys. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got to say, you did that's, that it for that's, that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks very much for coming in and joining me. I appreciate it. I thought it wasn't going to make the day, but I did. <laughs> Unlucky for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Joe's Joe's gone. Again. <laughs> Joe. Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Thanks for the evening, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Yeah. Whoosh. <laughs> well, like in her pocket, gone like a rocket. Jason, this is a piece of you, which is a project for next week. Oh, sorry, you can't see it again. Uh, where's Jason? Go with that one. This is a piece of you, which is next week's project. I have no thick. idea which way I'm going to turn it. Round don't know what I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn it round, of course I will, but... We'll think of something bright for you, if you can't. <laughs> All right. Got a hollow form screaming all over it. Well, cool, has it? Okay. Yeah. No, well, I'm going if you don't come up with the ideas, just and I'm going to listen to you. you. We'll guide you through it as you go. I'll help you, Brian. I'll come in. I'll come I'll, in and help as well. Keep the other two sane. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll wait till Sunday and ask Mike his opinion. Don't ask him. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> he'll, he'll, say, he'll, he'll be having Mike in a goblet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway, right. Good night, guys. It's good night from Pete. Good night, guys. Good night from Terry. Good night, guys. And good night from my good friend, Mark. Hi, everybody. Good night for me. Good night, guys. I'm pressing the button now. Good night.